Okay. See, I start with this basic shape and then the bottom. See, by doing this, we have a really nice shape here, okay? And then the handle. Okay, Miss Handle. Okay, and then three apples here. Okay, I'll make the apple more toward to the middle. And another apple here. See, for the apple, right? I still use what? Use the straight line, right? Wait, um, uh, I, I need to, um, like, exit out this class because I need to join in on my iPad so you can see my work. Okay. Okay. All right, so I have the jar, the apple. Okay, then I need to have this one. Okay, it's a big jar, right? And then, okay, uh, we have fruits here, one lemon here. I feel like the lemon almost fall out from the, from this jar. Yeah, we have a lemon here. So we're gonna spend a fair amount of time for the shape later, okay? I will give you guys enough time for the shape. And then here's another lemon. And then we have the last fruit here. I don't know what kind of fruit, but we have some there. Okay, and then I feel like the bottom can be a little bit bigger, otherwise this part can be a little bit bigger in case it fall off, right? Yeah, this is about right. Okay, this is about right. <laughs> okay, that's it, okay? So after the shape, right, after the, the sketch, of course, we need to clean up, right? Make the paper clean. 
erase those supporting line and make it very clean before we get started with the color. Okay, we don't need those anymore. Clean up, clean up. Okay. Here as well. Okay. Then uh, next step is uh, is called single color sketch. So, um, but for this one, we try uh, we try in a uh, in a simple simple way. All right. So look at this painting. I feel like this. This painting, the outline actually formed by the dark color. But uh, instead of using black, I like to, I'm a big fan of deep blue color. So I'm gonna use the deep blue, okay, for the, for the shape. So deep blue actually, deep blue purplish color, how about that? If it's dark enough, it should be fine, right? All right. And maybe even more bluish. Okay, so I'm gonna use this color. Start from the, this part. Be very careful, okay? When you do this shape, yeah, be very careful. Make sure that, because you're gonna use not the pencil, but uh, the brush, right? Really thick brush here. That is something you're gonna use. So be careful about the shape. And then, okay, here's a little bit darker over here. All right. And then the shape of the fruits. See here, still try to use the street line, okay? Try to use the street line. And those are actually the shadow. Okay, pretty much of it. And then here maybe some other color, but 
not really important. Okay. And here's some shape. Um, and then, so when the brush will be dry, then actually I can do a little bit of this, right? What is this? Cross shadow, right? That's a cross shadow. We need to have later. Okay, here, a little bit something. Here's a little bit. Find the cross shadow a little bit. That's it. Inside, a little bit dark. But for the dark color, it seems like a, um, this painting, we actually use the greenish color to represent the, the dark side. Okay, which is nice. I'm gonna do it that way as well. Okay, so I'm gonna, okay, so let's get started. Let's start with, so here you can see my palette, right? Then you can see how I mix the color later. All right. So I grab pretty big brush, actually, a pretty big brush like this. Okay. Then um, I'll start with this jar, right? So the the color for the jar really pretty. Then I'm gonna just use the the dan huang, right? The medium yellow. See the medium yellow. Oh, I think it's really pretty. But I feel like I can have a little bit orange red as orange red as well. So so no hesitate. Just to apply on it. Okay. Seems uh, pretty simple here. Too dry. If the brush too dry, get some water, right? A little bit of water, not too much. That's the, this is very important, guys, listen. So try not to use too much water for the painting. And then see, for the bright side, just a, just the really awesome blue color, uh, uh, or, uh, uh, orange, red, and then even some areas just a really, the uh, really uh, high density of the lemon yellow. That works fine. Okay, that's lemon yellow color, just apply on it. Should be okay. Okay, then because uh, this painting relatively, uh, the shape is relatively simple. The color is really pretty, right? And then we see a little bit bright side, right? On the, the bright side of the shape. So, okay, a little bit here, a little bit here. Okay, and then uh, Hmm, not strong enough. Can make it even stronger, the color even stronger. Okay, seems like a, that's a nice jar already, okay? For the green color, we're gonna do that later. Let it dry for a while, okay? Let it dry for a while. Then since I have this color, I'm gonna do the, this, orange, okay, do this orange now, okay, for, since I have this nice color right here. And then orange red, some orange red color. Okay, some red color here as well. And even, even reddish on this side. Ah, even more reddish on this side. Okay, and then here I have this, since I have the red color on my brush, okay, I do this one as well. And uh, the bottom part. So seems like I use all the red color. Okay, and then the orange color as well. Then um, either change a brush, okay? I change new brush, okay? See, change a new brush, All right? Then I'm gonna do the lemon. I grab some lemon yellow, 
Okay, some lemon yellow color here. Okay, it's good enough. Okay, seems like okay. And then get some medium yellow. Mix those two together. Even stronger. But I feel like I need some white color to mix with them. So get a little bit white. Mix with them. Ah, really bright. Then get some medium yellow. Oh, even better. Okay, this is even better. So see, those color really fresh, right? Really fresh color. Okay. Um, I think those colors good so far, right? Then um, I'm gonna get some color for for the apple as well. So. This time I got that kind of Xiang Shui Bai He, right? That color. Or you have lemon yellow mixed with some uh, uh, lemon yellow mixed with a little bit of what? Give me an answer. A little bit green, right? The light green color. See? Just like this. Then you have very good bright side of these, those apples. Things, those are pretty nice. These colors are pretty nice. Oh, nice color. Okay, then uh, now I think this area is dry, right? I can get some green color now. Ooh, it's too greenish. So mix a little bit. Okay, this one's better. See, here, once it's, once it's dried, I start adding some green color for, that represents what? The, sort of like the, the dark side, right? Ah. that represent the dark side. Okay. And for this apple, okay, for those apples, same, okay. Hang in there, guys. I'll give you guys time, okay. Promise I'll give you guys enough time to, to pinch. Okay. So you don't have to, to be fast like me, right? Slow down. I want you to slow down later. Now we got some dark side, sort of like dark side for the for this pot. We use the green color represent the dark side, okay? Which is really genius, okay? That's a great idea. Doing this, we can learn this. Genia, see. This is a, we can really learn this technique, right? To, to paint, to apply this kind of technique in our painting in the future, right? Okay, forgot this one here. Yeah, that's the beginning. Now, I give you guys time to to play this, okay? You guys can get started to paint, to try it. So this is the first time to do this. That's just uh, no pressure, just give it a try, okay? All right. So where are we right now? So I finished the, 
the basic shape. So next is actually I need to do one thing, right? To outline the shape and also the shadow a little bit, right? So remember I said I'm a big fan of what? Big fan of deep blue color, right? So I'm gonna use deep blue color plus a little bit red. So make it purplish, but it's supposed to be even darker, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use this color instead of black. I, I'm not a big fan of black color. So see, this is already pretty dark, right? This is dark already, right? And then, uh, okay, for the dark side, okay. Mm -mm -mm. See, outline again, right? Outline the shape again. Outline the shape. And this one as well. And then here, a little bit thicker, right? Here, a little bit thicker, why? The shadow, right? Think about shadow here. And then, oh, apple. Okay, apple. The, the tip of the apple. Okay. Mm, looks nice so far. All right, and then, um, I see that there's tiny bit blue here. No, not the green color here. And uh, here a little bit, let me add it here. Uh, here's supposed to be different color. Okay, here's some shadow, see? Okay, some shadow here. Ah, okay. All right, next is I'm gonna do the background, okay? For the background, here's a tip. The background is a lot, okay? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the purple color. See, I have the pretty purple right here, right? And uh, I have a little bit blue color as well. But I feel like it's too dark, see? Too dark, right? Too dark, too dark. What can I do? Mix, get some white, get some white color. Ah, much better, okay. Is this much better? I think so. Okay, see, then, uh, then see this color, get some more bluish color. See, the secret here is bigger brush. Okay, guys, bigger brush. That's a secret, okay, bigger brush. But uh, seems like a, for that texture, right? You don't have to, you don't have to make it really even, right? So I'm gonna make this okay, not even, right? So keep the brush dry, guys. Keep the brush dry. That's a secret, okay? Keep the brush dry so that you have this kind of like a dry brush, that kind of texture, which is pretty. Ah, like this kind, right? Dry brush. Yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, I think this is pretty. And then I feel like I can occasionally get some reddish color here. See, mix a little bit of red color inside of this purple, right? Together with this purple. Okay, wow, pretty. Pretty. Here you can realize, you no, know, when you apply lots of color on it, right? And then lots of water and color on it, you can feel like the, the, the paper is getting what? Start getting wrinkled, right? Luckily we got the tape. We have the tape all, all four edges. So we, we do not have that issue.
So are we gonna make this purple color all over? It should be fine, right? So here, be careful on the top. Get some dry brush, it's fine and looks good. Okay, just like that. For the last one, okay, let me finish. For the last one, which is uh, the plate, I'm gonna use some white color, mix with a little bit yellow, little bit yellow color, little bit this color, the purple color, okay. Oh, this is my plate. This is my plate. Here, I see some white plate here, white color here. Let's just have some white color here for my plate. And then here, a little bit. Will be dark like this on this side that the dark side of the play of this this shape that's all looks nice right looks nice last one i forgot okay get some this kind of texture right here there add some texture This kind of texture, okay? More bluish, more greenish color texture. I think that's it. I'm done here.